Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another video and today we got the Hot Wheels Euro Style Series. So this is the next segment of the Car Culture Series which has been a hit so far of course with the Japan Historics. Uh, the Trucks Series will be the one that comes after this. Uh, the current one right now that's out in the US at least, or just starting to appear in the US, is the Euro Style Series. So. We're going to go over all five cars. As usual, there are five cars, just like there were with the Japan Historics, and just like there were, is going to be with the Truck Series. And um, we're going to check them out. Of course, they're all metal on metal. Uh, they all have rubber tires, and some of them feature uh, brand new wheel designs. So this is the new wheel in this series right here. So it's actually, it actually looks pretty cool in person. I wasn't really impressed with it in pictures, but in person, these actually look pretty slick. So uh, these cards are unique in the front and the same in the back. So here's uh, just a scan of what's on the back there. So all of them have the same exact back. There's the barcode right there. Um, and there you go. So... We're going to crack all these. The first one, of course, is the Porsche 993 GT2. Uh, this model debuted in the Boulevard series. Oh, yeah, and these are all on tape blisters, by the way, which is super annoying. So, Mattel, get your glue stuff figured out. So, that is just not satisfying to crack these cards with that tape in the way. So, don't like that. But, uh, so anyway, here it is. So, the Porsche uh, 993 GT2 debuted in the Boulevard series and is a really cool casting it's got lens details in the headlights which are part of the uh, windshield piece this one's really nice these tires are slicks so they kinda at first kinda look like they might be plastic but they are rubber and uh, let's see here let's just do this there you go I just pulled a tire off the rim so that's what the uh, the rim looks like um, so this is re recently also that RLC Golf um, car. So let's uh, actually, I'm going to pull out the macro real quick. So let's see if I can give you a closer look. There's the tire. Okay, here's the one where I just pulled the tire off of. So there's the rim. Or wait, no, never mind. That's not the one I pulled the tire off of. Here's the one I pulled the tire off of. Sorry about that. There's your rim. So that's what that looks like up close. Might as well while we're up close, take a look at some tampos. Pretty cool. So there's that one. So without further ado, we should probably move on. But there's number one and probably my favorite one in the bunch. Actually, no, I think the next one's my favorite one in the bunch. This is the uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Here's a quick scan of your card art. And uh, the 911 GT3, uh, this one debuted in the 2011 mainline and has been in various mainline appearances since then. Uh, this is probably my favorite one of the bunch. I just like the way it looks. It looks really cool. And then it's, of course, a Magnus Walker design. Like the 956 or whatever, Outlaw, whatever it was. So that one from the mainline. So pretty cool. And I don't think we really need to take too close of a look in this one, so I'm not going to bust out the macro. But that one's really awesome. I think that's maybe probably my favorite one in the series. Definitely these two. I dig the Porsches. Uh, so next up, we got number three in the series, 92 BMW M3. So this looks pretty nice. I wish they would put some headlight, though. It's headlight and taillight detail on these. I don't think that would be too much to ask. Um, I guess they are $3.50 here in the U.S., approximately, so they're not too expensive, at least they're not as much as a, a retro entertainment or a pop culture car, but here's this one, this casting uh, debuted in 2012 in the Hot Wheels Racing Series, which was a premium series with real riders, um, it's been a, in a few other releases, it was in the re recent BMW series, That's pretty nice. I do, I'm kind of interested at in what that is down there, so we're going to take a, a look real quick again. Hope you guys dig this uh, macro lens thing. No, it's just like a side marker deal. It's got a BMW logo. There's the BMW logo. That's pretty sweet. 
Decent job on the tampos on this one. Pretty cool. So there's that. And then moving on, we got the uh, Volkswagen Golf MK7. Looking pretty nice in this color blue. This is probably, I think this is, yeah, this is the oldest uh, casting in this group. This actually debuted in 2007, in 2007 mainline. A little mark there on the windshield. Uh, real basic tampos just on the top there. Well, I guess there is one on the side too. It actually does look really nice in person. I didn't really like the pictures of this one, but I think it does look really nice in person. You got a VW logo there. I don't think we really need to get out the macro to look at that. But uh, I think it's a very nice, very nice casting. I'm just not too excited about the Golf. Um, I've actually never really been much of a hot hatch kind of guy. I mean, they are cool. They're fun, fun to drive, I'm sure. But uh, pretty neat. So there's that one. And last and probably least for me is the Fiat. 500. This one debuted in 2014 mainline. It was also in last year's mainline as like the fake treasure hunt because it had a treasure hunt logo on the back of the card or whatever. So there's your card art real quick. And uh, we'll pull this one out. Out of this tape card. And there you go. This one's got headlights, which is nice. Some basic side tampos, and it's got taillights too, which is pretty cool. I mean, I guess it's a neat little car, but it's really not a casting I would have picked for this series. It's too bad um, there wasn't like a, you know, Lamborghini or something in the series. Maybe they'll do like a, a supercar car culture series and throw in a Lamborghini. Maybe they'll get the Ferrari license back and... Uh, Throw some Ferraris in there. That would be amazing. But this Fiat will do for now. And uh, it does look pretty nice, I guess. All these look pretty nice. I mean, they're they're well done for um, $3.50 pieces. So, pretty cool. So, they're all metal. All metal. All rubber tires. And you get five cars in, the, in this current set. And in each set going forward for the Car Culture Series. I'm really digging this series. Um, Japan Historics are really nice. Uh, this set is actually really nice. I, I'm ha a lot happier with it than I thought I would be. Um, mainly for these two cars. Those are the best ones for me. Um, but, you know what? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you dig this series? Are you actually looking for it? Are you going to buy them all? Are you just going to buy a couple? Um, are you going to get multiples of a few uh, you customizers out there? Do you think these wheels are going to be usable on anything? you think they're going to look cool or will people use them as customs? I don't think I'm going to rob them. At least nothing right now. But, uh, but a pretty neat series overall. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good day.